for this quarter, I just feel like an excited energy for what's to come for 2020 and just taking things to another level. So this quarter, things are going to be a lot more um, streamlined, a lot more focused, a lot more efficient. Actually, my word for the year next year is revenue. It's never, ever been a word of the year for me, ever, ever, ever. I really want to focus on, um, on growth, impact, serving the audience. But, um, but the word that I'm so far choosing that I feel most aligned with is revenue. I definitely think that when you um, choose a word to focus on or a theme, it can transform everything. Um, like I was having a conversation with someone the other day and she was saying about how she um, decided that her priority was going to be self-care that was the focus that was the priority and since deciding that like her life has changed and her business has grown and evolved so much and deciding that self-care was the priority and so for me it's the concept of where focus goes energy flows so if I'm focused on revenue generation then that's what I'm putting my energy into, my time into, and that's what's going to evolve and develop. There's definitely a um, clear pathway and clear focus, but what my, my, what my experience has taught me is that you always have to leave room for intuition because, for example, like, let's take a launch. You can plan out the perfect launch on paper. You can write the perfect emails, the perfect graphics, set the perfect Facebook ads up. But when you're in the launch, if you think that you can just rely on that and get away with that, then I think you're kind of in trouble a little bit. You have to have a degree of flexibility and be willing to change, make last minute changes. So at the last minute, you might realize that actually this one message is just happened, is working really, really well. So let's go all in on that one like message. And so you have to be willing to change, you, you know? So like you can have a plan, but you have to have that flexibility to to jump and like to pivot, which makes it really hard as you expand your team because it's really hard to like pivot a whole team. But I think it's then creating that awareness for the whole team and saying, this is, we're, we're all in this. We all have to feel into it. Like we all have to feel into what is working, what is not, um, so that we can actually create real momentum and see real growth and success.